So the march is pretty much a gathering of a lot of people that are pro-life and we're all protesting and we just really want support for our cause. We left Corning at about 11 at night, but we got to Washington, D.C. at about 5 in the morning and we went to an armory. Uh, we spent a little while there and had a giant mass with some entertainment. You guys ready? You guys ready? The artist at the armory was Bob Rice, and he's this really awesome religious singer, and he's just a lot of fun because he gets everybody singing and dancing, and we even all did the wave. So it's just, there's like hundreds of people there, so it's a really fun time. A day dedicated to the dignity of the human person. He is jealous for me. There was about 300,000 plus people there, and it was really powerful seeing all those people together for one cause, working together for what we think is a good thing to do and what's right. And so we pray for the full restoration of the legal guarantee of the right of life. The majority of the people that come on the march are actually high school age, and I think it's just really awesome to see the young people in our society getting out there and fighting for our cause. Everybody's one individual person, but when we all gather around and fighting for the same cause, it makes you really feel like you're a part of something special and really everybody wants to be there. Because of how um, congested the traffic and crowd control stuff was, it took several hours for us to march. It, it was great, you know, there was a humongous congregation of people. In fact, there was, there was a lot of waiting, but we were still protesting while we were waiting. And all eyes were on us that day, so. This is something that you can't really roll over sideways on. It's something that you have to support wholeheartedly. And it's, it's not something that you can be moderate on. I can be moderate on a lot of things, but this isn't one of them. Because unless you take a really strong stance, people won't believe you and they won't change anything. Yeah, we saw these people who had like all these yellow balloons. I remember it was pretty rad. Um, they had a ridiculous amount of yellow on. I guess that was their color instead of polyester green. Uh, no. We're releasing them later though. Actually, have Yeah, you, you got your crazies in the bunch, I think. And I kind of gave them the side eye because it's really easy to go to one of these rallies and just like shove in your business card where it doesn't belong. But everybody supported the same rights. So that was that was awesome. It's, it has this like wow factor to it because you're looking around and all the streets are just jammed with all these people and as far as you can see it's just heads and signs and you walk up and you see like the Capitol building there and just this flood of people rushing toward it and it really adds to the whole effect of the march that hey we're going to where the stuff happens we're not just walking around some random place we're actually going to where it's important. A congressman could look out his window and see, oh, look, people. Every life is sacred, every life is beautiful and deserves living. And I kind of wanted to stand up for all the lives who really don't have any say or any power in their decisions and um, wanted to stick up for them because I think it's something that we kind of overlook as an easy solution to our problems, but I think it really has some deep-rooted consequences that we need to consider.